my dear students and other viewers assalamu alaikum i hope that all of you are well by the grace of our channel i am panswal today i will discuss what is about the transformation and a paragraph who is provided by the ministry of education exactly i will not answer that or discuss that i will more than the instructions of board of education so now i will discuss i will start the transformation of sentence or changing sentence you will know that according to the meaning there are five sentences they are assertive interrogative imperative optative exclamatory and you know that in two ways we can transfer or change the sentences number one conversion conversion is such kind of sentence it will change the structure and the meaning both both will change but transformation of sentence it will change only structure but the meaning will not change absolutely exact meaning will be remain so today i am going to discuss about the transformation or changing sentence and there are four usual there are seven usual rules of transformations as affirmative to negative affirmative to interrogative imperative optative exclamatory simple complex compound positive comparative superlative active voice passive voice direct narration indirect narrations and parts of speech so you can understand that there are seven usual forms of transformation of sentence so today i am going to this or uh, discuss about the sense in sentence from aside to interrogative you know that there are also many ways sense in the transformation and i have already discussed conversion and transformation in this two way i can say the sentences here you can see he is a good boy my quick transformation will be is he not a good boy is he not a good boy or is he a bad boy we can say in this two way is he not a good boy or is he a bad boy when i will say that is he a bad boy at that time it has structure sense or is he not a good boy she ke ekjon bhalo chhele na it means he is a good boy so it is transformation he is an honest man is he not an honest man and you have to always put the interrogation or interrogative sign when you, you will start to say interrogative sentence of course you have to use interrogative sign at the end of the sentences otherwise your mark will be cut i shall never forget you shall i ever forget you i shall never forget you shall i ever forget you nobody can escape death it also can say in two ways who can escape death ke mrityu ara ite pare it means not can escape death another way can anyone escape death ke ho ki mrityu ara ite pare so we can say in two ways who can escape death 
or can he, can any of us skip it? Or can anybody skip it? Everyone wishes to be happy. Who does not wishes to be happy? Who does not wishes to be happy? Number six, none can do this. Who can do this? And another, can anyone do this? As a student of class eight, according to the syllabus of Board of Ministry of Education, here you have to write transformation. None can, according to the transformation, none can do this. Who can do this? Or can anyone do this? Number seven, there is no there is no any use of it. There is no any use of it or any use of this law. Is there any use? Is there any use of this law or of this of it? This sentence its meaning is there is no any use of it. Eta kuno bhabhar nai. Atama e ayne kuno bhabhar nai. E niyome kuno bhabhar nai. So I can write, is there any use of, of it? Atama of this law. Number eight, I have never gone there. You can imagine another sentence, I have never been to Kaksas Bazaar. I have never gone to Kaksas Bazaar. In this way, have I ever been to Kaksas Bazaar? Or have, have I ever been, have, have I ever gone to Kaksas Bazaar? Of course, you have to give the note of interrogation at the end of the sentences. In this way, Rohan goes to his school, he goes to his school, I go to his school. But here you can write, does Rohan go to his school? Does Rohan go to his school? It is also interrogative, but it is conversion. But if you say into transformation, you have to write, doesn't, doesn't Rohan go to his school? Rohan ki school is Ayana. It means he goes to his school. In this way, I have no doubt about it. I have no doubt about it. Have I any doubt about it? Have I any doubt about it? So, you can understand that there are many ways to say the sentences mainly conversion and transformation. Conversion is that both structure and meaning will says both structure and meaning will say and when you will do transformation of course the only structure will sense but the meaning will be same. But in this way we can says the sentences according to the instruction it may affirmative to interrogative affirmative to exclamatory affirmative to optative every sentences you can sense following the instruction of rules of grammar next you can easily it is very easy but there are only one items, only assorted to interrogative, you have to say. So remember that, of course, you have to put the interrogative sign or note of interrogation at the end of the sentences. Otherwise, it will not be complete and you will not get full marks. Next topics, paragraph writing. Perhaps, Last year you have visited a place or a historical place with your friends, with your parents or relatives. In this way, it, you may call it the study tour. Recently you have made or paid a study tour 
and what kinds of activities you have seen and what things you have learned from the study tool. What is the result of the study tool? Money, which activities, what says you can uh, enjoy or you can feel in yourself and which sites uh, have to attract most but how you can enjoy this scenery and the historical place how can our knowledge but which types of knowledge you can gather in this way you can describe a paragraph according to the instruction or questions you, where you will write a paragraph of course there provide some questions or clues and to get good marks you have to follow the rules or instructions which will be given in the questions and you have to follow the instruction in this way there is a paragraph when you have to write a paragraph about visiting a place or historical place maybe now I will discuss some questions and when you will write the assignment you may get help from this instruction from my teaching and discussion you can get help as example where did you visit perhaps you have you visited a historical place or an interesting place last year and as I said last year, so as a student, you are about 14 years old or 13 years old. So, in this way, you have to write. You should, uh, as a student, you should not mention uh, when you are, uh, a, you are uh, five years old, six years old. As a student, you should be more than 12. So, you can point out, you can write the age in this way. Where did you visit? You may write, visiting is very enjoyable event for me and I am lucky I got a chance to visit a historical place last year as my maternal uncle lived in Shuranga, so he invited me or our family to visit him. So I got a chance to visit a historical place, Shunarga, which is located at Nayangas. And also it is near from Dhaka. It is it will not be so expensive journey. Why did you go there? You may write, I went there to visit my relatives and also visit the historical places. Especially it is historical because Shunaga was once a great time the capital of Bangladesh, the Muslim rulers, sultans, and at that time the capitals, Sunarga was the capital of Bangladesh and it is famous, you know that there is a museum, it is also historical, the many relics and folk art gallery or, or museum art there. So you can see many things of popular society or folk art and many things, utensils of the using the times, sultans and landlords, especially Isaka and another many rulers of that time visited and stayed there and ruled the country. How old you go there? When here means how old you were at that time when you visited. I have already discussed that as a student of class 8, you should, you should refer, but you should uh, write your age is 14, 13, maybe. Then when I was 13 years old, at that time I, at that time, I got 
At that time, I got a chance to visit the historical place, especially the Shunarga, which is situated Nayangos, and it is also very near from Dhaka. Who accompanied you? You can write, I accompanied with my parents, or I accompanied with some of my close friends. As your maternal uncle invited you to visit the historical place, so some of your friends can go visit relatives and side by side you can visit the historical place. Next, did you like the place? Why or why not? When you will say yes, so you have to write some causes. Uh, why do you like? Uh, if you write no, in this case you have to write some causes. Why do you not like the places? Though you have visited, in spite of this, you did not enjoy so much yourself visiting the historical place. Why, but whose things, uh, if stay there or remain there, it would be crazy your enjoy moment or pastimes. So in this way, you can write a paragraph. Of course, there will be some instructions or clues or questions and you have to write the paragraph according to the by abiding by the rules or uh, maintaining the instructions in this way you can write a paragraph the next I will say again think you have visited but you visited a historical place or interesting place last year and you gathered mass knowledge you know that visiting a historical place it is a great opportunity to learn many things to gather knowledge so in this way you have to write the paragraph and the paragraph should be within 120 words and in this way you can write and it will of course a paragraph, a para paragraph of course will be only one a para and in a para you have to write your paragraph so I will, I wish you will be able to write the paragraph according to the instructions of questions or using clues who is provided with questions and you will transfer as a student of class 8 but who is I have referred, they are usually many items of transformation as affirmative to negative, affirmative to interrogative, imperative, optative, exclamatory, simple, complex, compound, positive, compounded, superlative. Next, active voice, passive voice, direct action, indirect action, and parts of speech. In class 8, you have to only, I say about the transformation, but only you have to practice in these classes, affirmative to interrogative, affirmative to negative, affirmative to exclamatory, affirmative to imperative. In this way, you can only complete the transformation or sentence sentence especially in class 8. Of course, you have to practice active passive bias and narration also another part, it is not transformation, but you have to practice 
direct connection and indirect connections and it will be help to the another class, higher classes of course you will get into or admitted into the next classes after passing the JSC exam and I wish you good luck. Thank you very much.